Welcome to this new video. As of now, you would have known about ChatGPT. It is an AI chatbot that gives you human-like responses for whatever thing you ask. And people have used this for writing, coding, writing jokes, writing stories, etc. So in this video, we will see what kind of help we can get it for DAX coding using this ChatGPT. So this can be used as an interview preparation also, like whatever DAX commands, whatever things you wanted to know. Now in this video, we will see whether how we will be getting the running total and the rolling averages using this ChatGPT. So we are planning to get the running total and rolling average of 30 days using this ChatGPT. And it is not like, okay, you're going to write anything in ChatGPT. We will ask the question and it will return the answer and we will check the answer with one which we needed in the Power BI in DAX and we will see whether we are getting the correct results according to that. So for ChatGPT, you need to open the Google and you need to search for chat gpt and you will be getting this open ai you can take the first link itself and here actually we need to sign up if you have google account then it will be easy for you to sign up because you can you sign up with the google account also even with microsoft account you can sign up so this will be for free usage and it will be only till one month so once you create the login name you can use this right you can go to the open ai website and you can try this Try chat GPT and with, it will open a chat window. Of course, it will ask once again to log in. So it will be asking for our feedback and all those stuff, whatever it is needed. And now we can start whatever question you, you can ask. So here, whatever question you can ask, you can ask. And then in any subject you can ask. Since I'm an ultra runner, I will ask one question about that. Who is an ultra runner? So Arana is a person who participates in ultra marathon races, ultra marathon or events that go beyond the traditional marathon distance of 42 kilometers and all the details of ultra marathon they are giving. So this is, you can see it is a wonderful, whatever things I ask is giving an apt reply of that. What is running total in Power BI Dash? So it's coming in Power BI Dax's running total is a calculation that shows the cumulative total of a measure or column over a specific period. This coming exactly what we needed. So we will see whether we are getting the formula also, the DAX formula also to get the running total. So it is showing each and every detail is just very good. We can use calculate function with the filter function to sum up the values of a measure. Yeah, it is showing an example also. It is clearly telling that okay, the sum function calculates the total sales amount for each day and the filter filters the sales data based on the current rows, date, and sum of the total sales. So it is showing exactly whatever we are need we needed. So actually we needed this. Click the copy code and we'll copy this code and we will take our Power BI page and we will create a measure and exactly we will be pasting the same so here we need to give some changes because instead of sum of amount we already have the sum of amount and we have written it as a measure so we will give it as total sales price and this all sales actually they are giving the sales date so we don't need to give the sales date we are using calendar and instead of this sales date we will give the calendar date order date and maximum of this calendar order date. So obviously we need to change the column names, whatever they are given and the measure we need to change. And we will just try it. We have taken the new visual, we have taken the table and we will just drag it into this table. And we have done that. Yeah, it is calculating, it is increasing, it is taking the cumulative sum and it is giving the exact results. So the first experiment worked because we obviously we need to get the, this is the common question we can get in an interview. So we got this. Now we will try the average rolling sales, average rolling sales in Power BI DAX. So it's showing the rolling average. That is also another important question in nineteen interviews. But it is showing for days, six days. So we will change it to 30 days. So we can copy this code and we will try it in here and we can create a new measure. We'll paste it here. Same exact way we need to change this uh, table and column names. This sales, we need to change it to calendar. And here the sales date, it is actually calendar date. Here also it is calendar order date and we will use it as 30 and instead of sales amount for us we have a measure for that total sales price 
So here itself, it is showing that, for example, to calculate the rolling average of sale for the last 30 days, you can change the number in the date diff function to 20. So we can change it to 29 and we will try this also. And we got the average sales also. So, so in this way, whichever tax formulas you want to get it, you can just type in the chat GPT and you can ask and it will be showing the correct details. Even the same thing, you can write it for SQL also. You can write the running total using SQL server. See, you will be getting the same thing in SQL server also. So you can use it. And of course, nowadays we will be using the overflows also. So you can take it whichever want you want and you can use it and you can try it. And that GPT, of course, it is for 30 days. Obviously, if you want to do more, then you can create another Google account and you can use it. So it is not a problem for us. So you can try this. Hope this was an interesting video. Have a nice day.